This morning on The Dish, a chef known for blending food traditions of the American North and South. Andy Little grew up in Pennsylvania Dutch country, savoring the produce of local farms. After first aiming for a career in classical music, he started supporting himself with restaurant work and grew inspired to become a chef. So he headed off to the prestigious Culinary Institute of America and started his career. Five years ago, he became executive chef and partner at Josephine in Nashville, where Pennsylvania Dutch and Southern hospitality meld together for a unique and much honored cuisine. Chef Andy Little, good morning. Welcome to The Dish. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Tell us about this Nashville table. So let's start with a cocktail. Oh, uh, oh right. 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 <laughs> So this is a, a Manhattan made with red eye rye and actually a spirit that our original bar manager has started. Is so he's right? since moved on to that. I mean, it's a beautiful bottle, just wow. a, I love a delicious bottle. cocktail. Wow. Yeah, so right? Fire. I mean, it's got a little bit of a uh, little bit of coffee in it, so good, uh, good to perk you up. What are right. we eating? So Talk then moving moving toward me, uh, there's a little bit of Nashville hot scrapple. Scrapple again from where I came from in central Pennsylvania. We take it and coat it with Nashville hot chicken spices so we have that direct line between Pennsylvania and, and Nashville. And then these beautiful whole chicken with some kale and a little bit of crispy potato. And dandelion was, was a big thing growing up, so we take the dandelion and toss it with a little bit of warm bacon vinaigrette. A mushroom pot pie, which is just amazing, totally vegetarian. I'm working we on smoke yeah, the mushrooms too. a little bit, so a lot of times people think that you snuck bacon in there a little bit, which we would like to do, but entirely vegetarian. I'm happy to hear that. And then finishing with uh, a little strawberry and rhubarb crisp, crossing our fingers and hoping spring comes a little sooner. <laughs> well, we, we heard some of your story, obviously, in getting to you. You say you went from tuba to tenderloin. You sure, yeah. You really had this idea you were going to have music as a career. Why did that not happen for you? I think I just got to a point where I really enjoyed the work of it. I really enjoyed going in and um, achieving something. Yeah. But I'm not sure that I really enjoyed the music part of it. Yeah. Uh, and there were people who just loved going in and sitting in the music library and listening to classical music. And that wasn't me. I would rather be You almost got a job in a quad. symphony, but you said you then you kind of, changing gears, you kind of faced your first real adult decision. Yeah, yeah, first real adult decision for sure. I just knew that I didn't love it, and uh, I knew that I had to do something else, and being in my 20s, something else was, I'm not sure what that's going to be. <laughs> yeah. That had to be scary. That. Yeah. that had to be terrifying for yeah. you. Yeah, you know, so. uh, well, both of my, my parents are teachers, and so I, I went back to school and I thought, well, I'm just going to be a teacher, too, and do the family business. And right. in order to pay for that, I started to work in restaurants. Wow. And, you know, there's this great sense of, of community and teamwork in restaurants. And being a musician, I was already working nights. I was already working weekends and holidays. And so uh, the pace and, and uh, timing of it all um, worked out well for me. And that led you to the CIA. It did. And that's where I knew uh, that it was something that not only did I enjoy the work, but I had a passion for it because in... Uh, music school when people were listening to all the classical music. Yeah, I was watching videos of the chefs that would come to CIA Wow, yeah, interesting. to the point of I even took some of those videos and put them in my backpack and thought I really want to take these to my place What took you to Nashville? Uh, the job I was looking around uh, Nashville was certainly um, You know Nashville's hot these days. Yeah, well, sure yeah. is and An incredible uh, food scene. Yeah. Yeah, so you know, I love music um, all kinds of music, uh, so the rock and roll and country and everything, and just the creative energy that Nashville has, uh, and also the you know the growing economy and business uh, was just it, there's something special about Nashville. We get to eat this right now. What do you want diners to experience from sort of this coming together of foods that you have? You know, so we're actually you know we've got all of this food here. Um, <laughs> the one thing that is really important to me though is that the entire dining situation makes sense. So you go in and you have this great food, but you also have a wonderful service experience. And you just, you leave the restaurant feeling better than you did when you came in. We will have you sign our dish. If you could have this meal with anyone past or present, who would it be? So I'm a lucky guy. My parents just moved to Nashville. Oh, excellent. Oh, that's yeah, great. I get to work with my wife every day. And every day at 3.30, I sit down with the best restaurant team and have a meal. So I'd be a little self-indulgent. I'd say I'd like to do this with Bruce Springsteen. That's great. <laughs> Surprise. We'll pass that on to Bruce. That's right. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And for more on Chef Little and the Dish, you can head to our website at cbsthismorning.com.